Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sclabro Country, the virus edition, a.k.a. the Pandy Pops. A.k.a. two guys, one couch. A.k.a. one salmon couchy, two fans of Fauci. A.k.a. two bros, no garden hose. A.k.a. one zai, two goats. A.k.a. two Jews, no harm in Killebrews. A.k.a. two men, one Afghan between them. Here AKA we go. A.k.a. one egg, four legs. We're here. A.K.A. Uh, two Sklars, dumb spars. Someone gave us that one. That was another good one. All, All right, right, guys. Right. We're yes. here. We got stories. Uh, hope you guys are well. We're trying to like dig back into this thing. I feel like I'm like swimming upstream a little bit. A little bit. Is but that how you guys are feeling right now? Swimming upstream a little bit? Uh, this, you know, it does feel like we're asked to put in like sprinters effort for what is feeling like a marathon and yeah. it is wearing people thin uh we got to be strong in the face of it stupidity is what's on the other side of it so it's not easy no one said it would be easy uh but we are hoping that we can give you 30 minutes of a reprieve just by uh telling you some funny stuff about some stupid behavior and tell people about it this would be great if we could expand this thing so if someone's like hey what do you listen to this is a great thing to recommend do. this pod uh, rate and review it if you haven't rated and review it on itunes that shoots it up the list uh Let's and more people know about it. and uh go ahead and Go ahead and uh, tell people. Tell people to sign yeah, up and start it. listening. All right, let's All right do it. shall we jump into stories? Yes, we got one it. right here. Do you remember when the band Great White killed a hundred people in two thousand three by doing pyrotechnics in that small club, like somewhere in the Northeast? You yes, that? I do. I do. And your first thought back then was Great White is still touring. That right. was my first thought because two thousand two, two thousand three. That was a long time from when they were relevant. And then they were like doing their. But thing. it also then, in a weird way, makes sense that they were playing in a club so small that pyrotechnics would be dangerous. And then you realize that they actually killed more people than get attacked by sharks in one year. Right. It's about eighty. That's about eighty people. So if they killed a hundred people, and it was a horrible tragedy, we're not making light of that tragedy at all. They were the most dangerous great whites ever back then. Perhaps is what we're saying. Well, perhaps. seventeen years later, we can all see how a number of other so-called great whites want to senselessly kill people. And uh, yeah, I think well, you know that's, we don't really need to go there. Uh, <laughs> they're whites. They call themselves great. They are trying to kill people. That's right. Remember when we did pyro in Minneapolis? Oh, my God. Okay. So we used to do this bit at the end of our act. We did it at the end of our Comedy Central first half hour presents in 2001. Straight Man Cabaret. It's called the Straight Man Cabaret. At the time, ca and it, maybe it still is, but it, it kind cabaret, of- Cabaret, cabaret for, for gay, for sort of gay and gay culture is where men- would dress up as uh it's kind of like drag show -ish. it is like a drag show except drag show there's real singing right some some there isn't some there isn't sometimes you just lip sync in and other times you're just so it's almost like drag show but of celebrities who sing so someone would dress up we've been to drag shows we've been to cabarets i don't know if we could be if we've been to enough to tell you the differences but the coolest drag show we ever went to was in salt lake city that's right pride week last year that was not this past May, but the May or June before. Unbelievable. We had we just had, done our shows. Just done our shows. We went to like the one gay bar in Salt Lake City. It's not the one gay it bar. It was in one South. of two. I mean, it was kind of like the, it was right by the oldest gay bar in Salt right. Lake City. It was the most fun. And I, the community of people that were out were, were so happy to be out and be out. Yes. Uh, it just was a blast. And the show was one of the most fun shows we've ever been to. So in 2001, we did a bit about how when gay men like dress up like Liza Minnelli or dress up like other people, Tina Turner, Tina Turner and they sing Costumes, or they lip sync makeup, they lip sync. They get it's the an art form. Center. They get the dance down. It's an unbelievable art form. When straight men try to do the same thing with their own straight music, i.e. classic rock, it's... It's gay. Yeah, it's terrible. In in the worst kind of way, it's not gay in a cool way. No. It is, I would say, it's air guitar. That's all it is. Bad air guitar. So what we did was we would then take off the clothes we had. We had like uh, acid wash jorts and REO Speedwagon concert t-shirts. One of them from the actual show yes. that we went to back in the 80s. We saw REO Speedwagon. Tennis rackets. And we air keyboarded and air guitar the end of Roll With The Changes by... Uh, 
trying to raise straight man cabaret to an art form. Really just showing how stupid it was. And when we were in Minneapolis, a small club, Acme, one of the best clubs in the country, the first club we ever headlined. Thank you to Nick Swartzen who brought us in 1999. It's downstairs. There are low ceilings. It's got like, there's a plush curtain. It just... Our friend, who Jim Weber, who now runs the North Bar, managed a bunch a bunch of bands in Minneapolis at the time. Bands that used pyro. Used pyro at the time. Okay, this is like 2002. This is around the Great White yes. area. And he's like, do you guys want to do pyro for your last show of the weekend, Saturday night? It was sold out. We're like, yeah, let's do it. So at the very end, when we jumped up in the air and came down at the end of our thing, he lit off like a small pyro thing. But that could have... Basically burned burn the down whole the club. whole club. It was that we didn't check with anyone. We didn't clear it. It was the dumbest thing we could have ever. I, looking back on it, how stupid were it we? It was that we so did that? stupid that we even thought that we could even. Uh, perhaps that, that was before the Great White thing. It was awesome though, but it was it was amazing because people didn't expect it and they were so surprised. I mean, I could see people like suing the club. Yes, at the because time because of the noise. But at the time, like people didn't do that. They were just like, "Well, that was crazy, and I didn't expect it." Right. At least we didn't die. Great White. They're in the news again. And yes, our first thought it was Great White is still alive. That was my first thought. And still touring yeah. again. I could ask the same question I asked in two thousand three. Who the f is touring right now? You know what I'm saying? That's besides that takes- Kid Rock and Toby Keith. Who's touring right now? Yeah. Well, here's a story that will warm the cockles of your pyrotechnic heart, Jay. Okay. The rock band Great White have released an apology oh before performing. By the way, a, first thing they've released in years. Right. Before performing in an outdoor, uh, after performing in an outdoor concert in Dickinson, North Dakota, in front of a crowd of fans that were not wearing masks, crowd or, I would or adhering to social distancing rules at a time when the cases of COVID-19 are skyrocketing across the country. Again, I do love that they are releasing apologies more than they are releasing albums. Yeah, that's how you know you've uh, kind of you peaked a long time ago when you're they releasing. Just released an apology in 2020, guys. They got a new apology that's dropping tomorrow. It's the I, apology really, tour. Yeah, I'm really ex- excited about that. Our apologies dropping on when are they dropping? They drop on Tuesdays, right? Yeah. On iTunes. Yeah, it's on TikTok. At least they're still wanting to get out there and chase the dollar dollar bill. I I'll guess. say that. I okay. guess. I, pre- I can appreciate that. The concert took place on a Thursday mm-hmm. and was part of a series titled First on First, Dickinson's Summer Nights. This is a concert series that I'm just going to tell you, Dickinson, take a break. You don't need to do that this no, summer. No. no one's going to be like, what's happening to First on First? No one's going to be like, in this climate, why can't we have First on should First? should be who's on first. That's right. Who's on first would be the best. That's a better concert. Who's on series. first? Great White. Who's on last? Third Great base. Way. Third base comes on and plays at the very end. <laughs> Great would that be? Who's on first? Who's on first? Great White. Who's on first? Who's on last? Who's on second? Who's on second? I have no idea. And the who? The who? Who's on second? I know, right? The who? Who? That's what I'm saying. The who's who? on second? The who? The who? The who is I'm on second. I'm asking you who's on and second. And I'm telling you it's the who. Who's on second? The who? Who's on second? The who? Who's on third? Third, third base. base. All right, there you go. According to the event's Facebook page, over 450 people were interested in attending the concert. That doesn't mean that they were going to. You know that a lot of people were like, man, I can't wait to see you guys. And then the actual numbers are not that equal to that. Saying 450 people are interested in seeing Great White tells me that there were 50 people. Yeah. Right? Is it you want to do the numbers? 75. 75. The band received criticism after their footage from their concert hit social media. Of course. Most of the criticism was about the music. I'm kidding. And then a few comments came in about the masks. Oh, boy. You're killing everyone, Great White, with your music. Again. Again. Oh, and also people aren't wearing masks. What is the bigger public hazard? At this Great point, White, Great, Great White White's playing music that or they're the performing? fact that the people aren't wearing masks? Probably, It's probably heading into equal territory. That is the things. MO of a Great White concert. Right. Is you're going you're gonna to die yeah. if you go to this concert. You're Come right. for the music, stay for the bodily harm. Yes. In response, the band issued a statement to the media saying, we understand that there are some people who are upset that we performed during oh, the show good. during this trying time. We assure you that we worked with the promoter. That's not assuring anyone. By the way, the promoter? The prom- you're going to put this on. That the- guy doesn't care, and it's always a guy. There yeah. aren't a lot of women promoters yeah. out there for gray white shows. Yeah. There is not a promoter out there who's like, whoa, 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 guys. Let's think about the safety of these people. If anyone's going to care more about public safety than the promoter of a concert, I want you to show me that person. Okay? Concert promoters are among the most moral, 
fair <laughs> yes. people in yes. history. Yes. Okay. Always putting the needs of others in front of them. Yes. I mean, if you've learned anything about concert promoters, we know that. It's okay? that they would rather sacrifice it's a little bit of money, money to so make that, sure people are safe. Okay. North Dakota's government recommends masks to be worn. Thank you. However, we are not in a position to enforce the law. Great White are good at two things, Jay. Yes. Blowing up clubs and passing the buck. <laughs> they also... It's not music. They're not great at music. They also play music. Yes. Statement continues, we have had the luxury of hindsight and would like to apologize to those who disagree with our decision to fulfill our contractual agreement. Is that really an so apology? So pass it. Is that? We would like to apologize to the people who what? couldn't handle what we did. We would That's like to say. apologize to the people that need an apology from us for fulfilling a contractual agreement. Agreement. Pass the By the way, that's not saying we shouldn't have played the concert. We're not saying don't play the concert. There, we're saying that there are some comedians who are going on the road right now. There are some comedians who choose not to put themselves and other audience members in that position. I don't care one way or the other. I'm always going to air. We're going to air on the side of safety. But what I'm telling you is if you want to play the concert, just say if you want to get into the concert, you have to wear a mask. Put on a mask. Well, How if does Greg that White ruin says that? it, I'm come on. A, I know a, ma you're outside. a mask is not earplugs over your ears, which probably would be helpful at a great white exactly. concert. Exactly. What's the difference if 50 people showed up versus 75? Right. Because 25 people got pissed and said, I'm not wearing a mask. Would that upset you? No. By the way, your contract isn't, you're not getting paid by the people who show up at the concert. This is a summer concert series. You get paid whether you show up you're or not. You're on the bill. You so get it doesn't a flat matter. fee. Who it cares? It does not matter. You could be playing to five people and you'd still get your money. This should not be something that you should care about. Seems like something you could put in your writer. Yeah. All right. Promote yeah. The promoter and staff were nothing but professional and assured us of the safety and precautions. Our intent was to simply to perform our gig outside in a welcoming small town. So it's the government's fault for, for not enforcing, for suggesting, but right. not enforcing right. it strongly enough. The rock band is not only the music act that has come under fire well, for I not wouldn't adhering say come to, under fire with these guys. That's, that's not something not I would a term ever you want to use, with use when White. talking about Great White. To safety protocols when it comes to concerts in the time of the coronavirus. This includes musicians Chase Rice and Chris Jansen. Chase Rice to me sounds like a racist term for Asian people. Yeah. Right? I know it's right. And it, maybe that's what he's doing. Right. And Chris Jansen is the guy who busts child predators by using the sweet. That's Chris is that right? Hansen. No, that's, that's Chris, not Chris Jansen. It's Chris Hansen. Is he doing music now? Chris Jansen. So. Chris Jansen. For minors. That's what he's doing. Christian well, to catch, he's children's music. He's luring in child predators, child predators with his music. Capture them. And, he's capture. and he has a nice sweet tea booth. The end result is great, a great white concert that, in my opinion, could have been a super spreader. If you're going to have know. that many people there. We don't know. Look, just like Yakov Smirnov is having a whole new act gifted to him by Trump and Russia. Right. Great White is breathing life into their new touring with the maskless controversy. Maskless concert controversy. Wait, so you're saying to me that they're not going to appeal to like a niche audience that, or, that hates masks I that's bet slightly bigger than the audience maybe, that they had? Exactly. I bet people will go out and see Great White just to see what all the maskless hubbub is about. Or they'll be like, those are my guys because they still did a concert and they didn't make people wear masks. Is it actually worth it to see Great White with a mask off without no. a mask on? No. No. Basically, a 17-year-old question rears its ugly head. Is a live great white concert worth your life? No. That's the question. If your answer is yes, then then you have a taste issue. Great white, in my opinion. Which is ironic because most people who have coronavirus can't, can't taste, taste anything. anything. Great white could become Trump's official band very easily. Well, you know all those bands like Neil Young is like, hey, Can't do it. Rolling Stones, don't use my music. Great white could do it. You got it right here. You First got of a all, band. The name is on message. Can you name one great white song? They kill a lot of people when they play. Yeah. All right. Can you name one? They're great white supreme song? in that genre of killing people. Rock. They have white in their name, right? Trump loves things that are white and supreme. Boom. There you go. All right. Can you name one great white song? No. Can you? Not in, not in a million years would I'm I be gonna, able to name I'm one. I'm going to try and name Google one. Google one. I'm going to Google one great yeah, one. I was going to say, here I go again on my own. That's, no, that's, that's, that's not that's it. That's White Snake. Like, I can't even give you a great white song. I just typed great white into... Um, <laughs> His laptop caught on fire. You can't see that. <laughs> I just typed great white into iTunes, and it said no. It said, <laughs> it said nope. It said, are you sure? That's not a question Are you sure you want to be searching for this? It's not allowing me to do it. So keep to keep talking as I try and type this in. Uh, look, if they become the official ban of Trump in 2020, 
I guess let's put them in a small club. Let's get everyone in there and get the pyro cranking. And yeah, get the py- they, By the way, there'll be no. You can't find it. There are no songs. There iTunes are, rejects you. you. iTunes, iTunes not rejects the notion that there is a great white okay, song. So the great white, there is a greatest hits, by the way, for great white. Is it one song? Once bitten, twice shy. That was the great white. Song. That was their big one. Ma ma ma. Once bitten. So it's kind of like Southern Georgia satellite, but like Georgia satellite. Ma ma ma. Once gang bitten. Sing. So it's gang vocals. Get to it, guys. I like. I'm lost. I'm Start changing the, the fire, channel. guys. Okay, that's it. That's All it. right, guys, we're gonna let that's that enough. go. That's that is enough. So much once more bitten, than I twice shy. We're once bitten, we're twice shy. Uh, we'll see you on the other side of the break because we have another great, a crazy story about uh, the pre- is he the president of Brazil or the prime minister? I don't know president, what president prime call minister. It. it doesn't matter because the, the guy's head got dummy a, of Brazil, the head dummy of Brazil, and we give him a little taste of his own medicine right after this on the other side of the break. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Want to re- remind people once again, August 15th, live Dumb People Town. Get your tickets through Nowhere Comedy Club, Eventbrite. Just look it up. Uh, we're about to lock in the guest. Hopefully we'll find out in the next day or so. And once we can, we can announce that to you guys. going to be a great show. And it will sell out. I'm just going to tell you that right now. And if it's successful and fun, we're going to start doing it every couple months. Yeah. Uh, this is something we want to bring to you guys. The live experience is so fun. One thing we hear from people all the time is, hey, why can't you come to South Carolina and do live Dumb People Town. Why can't you come to Bangor, Maine? We're giving Maine? you your chance right now. This is it. We're coming straight to your living room with a show that is affordable and fun and live and laughs. Chance for you to do something fun for a night, and we're going to do that. Uh, Especially with the potential looming secondary lockdown. We want yeah. to give you something to look forward to. So that's happening Saturday August Saturday night, it'll be uh, 6.30 on the West Coast, 9.30 on the East Coast, uh, 7.30 Mountain, 8.30 Central. So we'll let you know where you can get that and who the guest is coming up soon. YouTube page, just go to YouTube, look up Scarborough Country, all the video clips of this, and eventually we'll start to put back all the other clips up on there. Yep. And uh, let's jump into this last story, let's shall we? Yes. All right. Thank the outstretched Jesus. Arms. Outstretched arm Jesus. That Brazil is out there still doing their thing. And by doing their thing, we mean making America look like they somewhat have a handle of what's going on. Yeah, Brazil, you're making us look great. Like Brazil is the barometer, in my opinion, Ran. Of, Brazil is actually making America great again. Right. They're, They're the barometer of when things are totally lost. When everybody has gone south, and I use that term actually probably. Right. It's like, like They're Brazil. a cautionary tale. Like, hey, let's not let this turn into another Brazil hey, over here. We don't like, need a Brazil happening here. Let's start wearing masks. Let's close the beaches. We don't want to become real. Brazil Dejanera. has still not got it has still not gotten rid of the coronavirus. The Zika virus. I mean the Zika virus. The Zika virus. Yeah, they, they still, still have, have not gotten rid of the Zika virus. Yeah, what well, they were doing viruses long before anyone was doing viruses. Before it was cool. Every to do computer viruses. in Brazil has a virus. Leading the charge in stupidity is their president, Jair Bolsonaro. Mm-hmm. A man Bolsonaro. who mocked the he mocked the virus openly. Mm-hmm. Said he didn't care what it did. I don't care. I don't care what she did is what he said. She did, is in the, she virus? the virus. Did he name the virus? Did he make the virus? A I don't woman? know. Or he didn't care what she takes your breath away. I don't know what the, I, the the other thing that he said about it is like I've he, never worn a mask. I've never worn a mask. He's a tough guy. I haven't needed to wear a mask. And look where I am. I'm fine. Well, you know what? You got the virus. That's right. Congratulations. You're a tough it, guy. And, and by the way, this virus has been around your whole life. So you've done a great job oh. of beating this for 60 years. So he came down with the Rona uh-huh. and now he has to self-isolate for a week. And this, to me, a denier of Corona should be... When a denier denies Corona and, and then, then gets, gets it, the coronavirus, coronavirus, that's when an angel should get their wings. Right. right? We His said when wings. Glenn Beck cries, a mosquito gets its wings. Right. But when a Corona denier yes. denies it and then gets it, and then sometimes even... It's die. like a redemption story. It's really, really wonderful. It's a redemption song. Gee, I wonder where he got the... He was going out to restaurants. He was having... I wonder work. how he got the disease. Maybe the mainstream media gave it to him. Right. Slid it to him over the mail. Meanwhile, I just, I want, here's some facts, okay? Brazil, 73,000 people have died in Brazil from already. 1.8 million people have been infected by the virus, all right? Okay, you can say that's, what? what is that, about 
I don't know what that is. I don't know. 5%? It's like, from the nation that brought you extreme poverty, futsal, and the thong comes presidential coronavirus. That, it's seven, another thing. Like a president has got it. 1.8 1. 8 million people con- contracting a virus. That's what happens every year, I guess, at Carnival. So, yeah. I, you know, they're going to contract something. So maybe they're used to it. This dude's 65 and he plans on resuming his normal activities in a week. That's what he said. And by normal activities, you mean publicly denying the severity of, of the pandemic? pandemic? Yeah, yeah. And any other pandemic. So he specs to be back within a week. Mm-hmm. Said he's had a pretty good track record with predicting what happens with this virus in the past. So why not believe him? No, he has not had a good. You're 100% wrong about the virus. You're 100% wrong about what it's doing to your people. And then you got it. And now he's complaining about, about being in quarantine. So yeah, he's not doing well with the quarantine. Like he says, it's been horrible. Like, like what he is he can, quarantining in a studio apartment? He in Rio cannot de bear the containment of the probably living on some large property in Brazil. Right, less you, than one week, and he's going crazy. That seriously, that. By may, the way, that might be the coronavirus working on your brain because it does work on makes people delusional. He's probably sequestering somewhere on like a large acreage farm. He or is. Something. He is. He's got nothing to complain about. Grow yeah, well, a pair, bro. Jesus. Well, you know what? Guess what? Right. Now we got an animal attack story to go with his infection. Okay. So this dipshit, he go and he is a dipshit. He's a and dumb. if I saw him in person, He's I would say, dummy. You're, you're a, a dummy. dummy. He was out on his property, a group of emu, mm-hmm. and I think that is the plural. That's it, a group of emu. Remember when we ate emu sticks? Did we? We ate them at, uh, in, in Wisconsin. And they were alive. Just live no. emu on no, top. No, we ate, so we yeah, ate I know. emu stick. Remember that with Rogowski in mm-hmm. the uh, indoor farmer's market? Yeah, That's what right. everyone said to us. You got to go to the indoor farmer's market. You got to go to the indoor farmer's market. You got to check out the indoor farmer's market in Madison. See. Wintertime, indoor farmers, were, we're like, you've never seen an indoor farmer's market like this. We're, we're like, like, you mean like every Whole Foods? Yeah. They every get their, Whole Foods is They an get in, their food from a farm. That's and an it's indoor, indoor farmer's, farmer's market. market. Every single one. All right. So he was trying to feed an emu. Yeah. Just, I imagine just like, Tina, you fat lard. Eat it, Tina. Eat it. Eat the food. So uh, an emu, for those who don't know, is just a giant dumb bird. Right. Well, even this giant dumb bird knows that this guy's a D-bag. And the bird bit him on the hand. Yeah. Animals know. Like you, eat, I, Even Hitler's dog had I like, was like, this guy's an asshole. I'm not going to roll I up right now. I don't so. like his vibes. Animals bet, know. I Animals bet know. Hitler's dog didn't like his Hitler vibe. Yeah. So this emu took one look at this stupid, pompous, crooked bastard and thought, I got to bite this guy. Yeah. I'm going to take a bite out of it. Wasn't all this ca- captured, captured in, in photos. photos? Like a series of photos. I'm Who's like, Who's taking photos of this? I love that. Like, paparazzi? People, like they're more interested in getting the photo than they are helping the guy who's getting bitten by a bird. So he, it's like two or three, like he's going to feed him something, then the bird, bird bites, bites him, him and, then, and he then he pulls, pulls away, away and his face looks like he's right, hurt and he's right. upset. And this guy's complaining about his own sequestering mm-hmm. because he's sick and he can't handle a whole week in lockdown, which it's in a house. Yeah, it's not Sam it's Quentin, in, you dummy. And then he gets bit by emu. And maybe, you know, the emu is biting him for something he said. Yeah, said maybe, to him. This feels like a guy who maybe said that like evolution wasn't real, or that the, the Earth is flat. I'm yeah. sure he's pushed if that. You're, onto if a, you believe that coronavirus is a hoax, you have to believe that the Earth is flat. You can't deny some science and then agree with other science. You you don't get to do that. I'm going to assume that about you, just like you're assuming wrong things about other people. That's right. I'm going to assume that that's you're a flat earther. So here's my question: Does the emu get coronavirus now because he bit him? Yeah, I don't want that emu to get no. sick. No. All he's doing is just being himself. Here, I got another question. Yes. How come Eastern Michigan University aren't the emu? They should be. That feels is like that a slam. feels like that just should have been done. That's already. a slam dunk. How it's did that not dunk. happen? I don't understand. It's a no-brainer. Like believing that a global pandemic isn't a hoax. It's a no-brainer. That's right. Brazil is just Brazil is like your uncle who just got out of prison for, for the, the second, second time. time. You're like, he's going back. That's right. There's it's no like hope you for this. You can't guy. trust him. With more than eighty dollars in his pocket, and he's always going to come asking for it, right? He should be wearing. You're, a lo- you're you're working up your excuse to tell him why you can't give him money before he even shows like up. Like Brazil your house. starts coming towards you, and you're like, oh god, Jesus Christ! No, he should be wearing an ankle low jack at all times. There are other countries in South America that are like, please, just drift off into the. If ocean. Brazil were a person that went to a doctor and got a physical, there would I guarantee you the doctor there'd be so much shit in that yes. Brazil's bloodstream. Like yes. the doctor would be like, I can't believe it's still alive. Yeah. I can't believe Brazil is still a country. Well, think about it as a country. It's it's like largest source of income is Carnival. Yeah. 
carnies. It's, it's, it's a carnival. When was the last time you were at a carnival? It's a country that bases its economy on spring break. Yeah, that's what it is. People like, imagine if our country was run by, and it's close to it right now. It's almost. Run by carnies. Run by carnies in Cancun. Right. Like you'd be allowed to have an elephant in your studio apartment. Just be able to keep one there. Smoking would be legal in hospitals. Babies could get tattoos. All right. It does not surprise me that the president of Brazil denies that coronavirus is actually a problem uh, because he's not going to wear a mask. And then he gets it. And then he gets it. The difference between him and Trump is that he doesn't have the bodyguards. His bodyguards are a bunch of carnies. Right. Again, it's right. Carnival. They're carnies. I, th- however you want to play it. They don't know how to test the guy. They don't know how to test the guy. They don't know how to keep him safe. They don't care, really. They're actually listening to Like, the people around Trump aren't listening to him. They're like, okay, whatever. We're going to make sure. It, we're going to all wear masks. Even it, though you're not going to. We're going to. It is insane to me that the center core of this story, it shows us that the smartest people in Brazil are, are emus. The emus. Right. A big dumb bird. A big dumb bird is the smartest smartest thing in Brazil. Making the best decisions in Brazil. You know why? Because the emu is not a carny. All right. That's that's the show, guys. Uh, Just have a good day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, Stay protected. Stay connected. Don't get infected. Punch a water faucet. Wash your hands. This is not a hoax. Wear a mask wherever you go. We got the jokes, but this is not a hoax. That's right. No hoax. Lots of jokes. That's how we do. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys. La ti da, la ti da ti da ti da, la ti da da da. In my car.